Now selection sets are basically an organized way of having different geometries as sets. What that means is I can have all my ducts as one selection set out here, all the pipes as one selection set, structural elements as another, so on and so forth. The purpose of having selection sets is once I have these selection sets, I can tell Navisworks to run a clash test between uh, different selection sets. So let's see how we can actually add some elements to selection sets. That can be done in two ways in Navisworks. The first way is I manually select certain elements. Let's say here I'm selecting some of the steel sections and I can right click here add current selection I call it beams and I'm done now you see right now there's nothing selected in my model the moment I click on the selection set it takes me back to that selection set which I can use whichever ways I want now the other way and that's a better way of doing things is by actually running a search set. Now searches in Navisworks help you search elements by their properties. The model that we exported into Navisworks actually imported into Navisworks from Revit it actually came with a lot of properties with it. You can see element IDs, materials, all such properties have been listed here. Now I can use these properties if I know what type and category the elements have been modeled in. I can use them to effectively search for different types of members because it's going to be very tedious to be able to select them manually. Let's do that for one instance. Let's say I want to select all the structural members out here. Now I know the types in which I've modeled them in Revit. So I can very quickly select those types and I can find the relevant geometry in my model. Consequently I can add it. Now you see here we've got a current search add option and that takes me to a search set which I can call as structural now this selection set can at any time take me back to the selected geometry that's all the beams and columns similarly I can have different selection sets out here which I can use to test for clashes between different kinds of elements. It is a good practice to make selection sets by running searches in Navisworks. Once we run searches we have search sets like these. Otherwise we get selection sets by manually selecting elements which would be something like this. Why it's better to have search sets is because search sets can actually be imported from any Navisworks file to another. What that means is if I once make search sets in one file I can import them to my consequent files without having to make those, that, that effort over and over again to make search sets. Let's see how we can actually do that. For that first we need a file where we have actually made search sets. I have this Navisworks file here in which I've already made some search sets for different kind of elements like beams, columns, ducts, pipes, they are all different search sets here in this file. Now what I need to do is export this search set so that I can then import these into any other Navisworks file. For that I need to go to the file export option and there I have an option called search sets XML. 
Now this will let me export an XML file which will have information of the search sets. Let's save this file. Now that I have exported the XML file, let me check the location. Here it is. Now this is the file that I can use to import search sets into any other Navisworks file. Let's go back to our demo file. Now I want to import those subsets out here. I'll go to the file import option this time and search sets XML. This is the search set I exported and there you go. Now we have imported the selection sets into our file. We can use these selection sets to select the relevant geometries in our model. Beams, columns, pipes, ducts, so on and so forth. Now these selection sets can be used to set up clashes between different geometries. What I mean to say is I can use the selection sets to set up a test between my pipes and ducts between pipes and beams whichever two combinations I want for that let's go and see the clash detective tool in Navisworks this opens the clash detective tab here in Navisworks now you'll notice that it has two identical panes a right and a left pane which has all the selection sets that I have in my file. I can go and quickly close the selection sets tab from here and also close the search tab so I have a better view of the model. Now in the clash detective tab I need to specify two sets of entities which I need to run for clashes. Let's say I want to test clashes between my pipes and ducts. So these are the two sets of geometries that I need to test for clashes. After having specified the geometries which we need to test, I need to tell Nevisworks to start the clash test.